Hey everyone, I'm Johnny FD, and I'm really excited for the new iPhone SE for 2020, especially at the price for $399. This is an early video. I wanna show you kind of just the basics on why this is the iPhone that most people should buy, especially if you're currently an Android user and you wanna switch over. So let's take a look at the new iPhone SE for 2020. Variety, like the, the green ones that we had or the blue ones we had, but face it, you're gonna put a case on that anyways. The most important thing is that's the A13 Bionic chip. That's the same chip in the iPhone 11 that is double the price. For $499, you can have the exact same amount of power as a phone that's $700, almost double the price. It has slightly less water durability at only one meter instead of two meters, which is 3.3 feet instead of 6.6 .6 feet. But let's face it, if you're gonna drop your phone somewhere, it's gonna be in the toilet, which is less than a meter. You're not gonna go swimming with it anyways. Let's take a look at some of the other specs. So if this phone looks familiar, it's basically the iPhone 8, which was a lot more expensive at almost double the price, especially when it came out, and with a faster chip. So right now, you would either buy the iPhone 11 uh, for $400, or you can buy the XR for $599, which is basically the bigger version, uh, or an iPhone 11 starting at $700. So really it's up to you, but for most people, unless you need a really big screen, there's no reason why you should spend more money. Because with the single camera, the only benefit of the double camera and the iPhone 11 or even the triple camera on the iPhone 11 Pro are different angles. So for example, uh, in the iPhone SE, it's just the ultra wide, so you take wide shots, get everything in there. Great for landscapes, great for up close, but not as good for, let's say, normal uh, portraits and not as good for zooming in. So but the, the difference between the iPhone 11 and the Pro is literally just that one camera, where you have the 2X zoom, but 2X is really going from here to here. So if you can physically reach your arm out a little bit or walk forward a few feet, you don't need the 2X zoom. The iPhone SE has the best camera uh, out of the, of the bunch, the, the, the wide camera. That's the one you're gonna use the most. And what's really cool is with software now, you can still do portrait modes even with the lighting. And this is something that you couldn't do before. Uh, and that's actually the, the biggest reason why you used to always buy the more expensive iPhone, is because it can do uh, better photos. But now, it's a non-factor, because phones used to need a second camera to calculate the depths to blur out the background, to get those portrait, you know, uh, bokeh-like photos. But now, with software, they don't need it anymore. So basically, you just have a slightly smaller version of this. It's 4.7 inches versus 6.1. But here's the thing that people don't tell you, is when you're watching a YouTube video or something, like right now it's a big screen, but if you're gonna watch a YouTube video, chances are it's gonna get cut off up here and here anyways. So you're not actually using the whole 6.1 inches. 6.1 is here because, but it's such a tall, skinny phone that most of the time, let's say you're gonna watch a video, you're gonna be watching it with the black bars on the side. And yes, you could zoom it all the way in, but it gets annoying because there's the notch, but also it cuts off some of the, the actual uh, footage too. So with that handstand video, it's not as big of a deal, but if someone's head's like almost cut off on the top, you're not gonna watch it like this, that. So 99% of the time, I'm watching it with the black bars on the side. Not to mention when you hold it, you're holding it on the sides like this. So then you need that, that space, those black bars. So I'm actually a fan of black bars and the other thing that the SE doesn't have that the more expensive ones have is the face ID. But the thing is, face ID is really annoying. I, I miss touch ID <laughs> within the thumb. It's so much faster, it's so much easier. You can do it when the phone is down on the table. With the face ID, you have to pick it up and look at it. So I'd actually rather have the touch sensor still. And th the fact is, it has amazing camera, amazing video camera. It is 4K video with image stabilization, which is the way that it keeps from being shaky. So 
Really, the, the iPhone SE camera is very, very similar to the new 11s, especially with the new portrait mode on there. And of course, we're gonna have to test this, so definitely keep an eye out for MKBHD's full video when it comes out. Uh, this is really just a preliminary, just a, a test, but I wanted to show you, it's such a good value, and I'm so happy that Apple went this route, because Apple, for the longest time, has been overpriced and it's, it was hard to recommend things. Even though I love Mac OS, I'm gonna uh, MacBook Air now, and I love iOS on computer, on my, uh, on my phone, to sync with my computer, and I have AirPods. I just love, I love Mac's ecosystem, but it was overpriced and it just wasn't a good value. But starting this year, everything's a good value now. The iPhone 11 was a good value, the SE is an amazing value, and the new MacBook Air for $999 is also a really amazing value. And I'm glad that Apple has brought down the price and started giving us better quality. And here's the thing is if you're an Android user and you haven't switched over yet, it is just so much better. Everything on Apple just works. And the biggest difference is with Android, you can customize everything, kind of like Windows, you can customize everything you want. You can put, you know, this annoying fonts on if you want, just to be different. With Apple, they'll say, no, we found the best font for you, that's the font you're using. We wanna make sure it's readable across the board. And I love it. I love knowing that nothing's gonna break, you're not gonna get viruses. Everything just works the way it is. So I'm a big fan of Apple's ecosystem and I'm a huge fan of the new iPhone SE. I think that is the best value for any camera out there and any phone out there. So unless you need a bigger screen because you watch a ton of movies on here and you don't have an iPad or you're not watching things on your TV for whatever reason, just get the SE. It's a great value. Save that money for something else. Save it for the next phone in a few years. Save it for some AirPods. These are amazing. I'm very, very happy with these. Best thing in the world, seriously. <laughs> or use it to uh, save up for your travels for when this travel ban's finally over. Come visit me <laughs> in Thailand or in Sri Lanka where I am now. And, you know, come take some photos. So come hang out and enjoy this phone. This is the iPhone SE. Go to apple.com for more info, but I'm a big fan, I think you will be too. And I think the days of us paying $1,000 for phones, just for a camera, they're, they're, it's no longer needed because this camera is so good. And obviously we don't have to test it, but I can tell already, if it's the same camera and it's an A13 chip and it has portrait mode now, and it has optical image stabilization, which it does. If you look at the tech specs, it's gonna be more than anything anyone needs. So if you like a great value, you want a great phone that is water resistant, that has a great camera, put a phone that can do pretty much everything the more expensive ones can do, except for make, for example, it has I just read here, it has auto image stabilization, not optical image stabilization. When you're taking pictures, it looks like it's software that keeps it, that keeps it still, or maybe they are, because here on the video, it does say op optical image stabilization for video. So they did use different wording for it, so that's something we're gonna have to test. Uh, but I'm pretty sure that for the video, it's gonna be amazing, 4K, at 30 frames a second or 60 frames a second, which is amazing. And for photos, I've never seen bad photos with any new iPhones, so I'm sure you're gonna be fine. There's gonna be little things, like the front camera doesn't do 4K video, but you know, if I'm shooting 4K video, which most of us aren't now anyways, you're gonna do it with the back cameras anyways. So definitely there's gonna be some trade-offs, but as far as we can tell for now, it's amazing value. The camera's great, the video's great. It's waterproof. The only thing that I would maybe uh, upgrade to would be pay fifty dollars more to get more memory because sixty four is really really low, and unless you know you're not making any much videos or installing too many apps, you're gonna run out of uh, capacity really fast. So I would definitely spend fifty bucks more and get the one twenty eight version, and I would install Google Photos with the unlimited backup on there and that way 
you can make as many, you know, take as many photos as you want, and it all goes up in the cloud for free. So check it out. Uh, if you have any questions, or if you want to have a comment, just leave a comment below. I would love to hear from you. What? Why wouldn't you get this phone? Because <laughs> I think it's the phone that everyone should be getting. Take that extra 500 bucks, put it in your pocket, and do something else with it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to this video for, for more videos like this, but also travel videos and kind of this life tip. <clears throat> money saving and finance videos. If you like these tech videos, uh, send a link. I mean, if you like these tech videos, leave a comment because I like making them. I'm a big fan of things when they come out. That's why I made this so quickly. And uh, yeah, enjoy. By the way, if you didn't realize this, if you use your Apple card, your Apple card to pay, you get 3% cash back. And you get a year of Apple TV for free. And it's actually pretty good. I've been watching watching Little America on Apple TV Plus, and I really like it. I think it's really, really well made. So big thank you to Apple for giving to us uh, a year for free, just for buying a new phone, which I would have done anyways. See you guys.